Cote for this welterweight bat. Cote is four years his elder. He is two inches taller. The rest is virtually identical. And once again, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 24 wins, 10 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Patrick the Predator Cote. And now it's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is an ex martial artist, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 10 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. And our referee is Eve Levine. Ready? Ready? Here we go. Three round fight. White trunks for Cote. Black trunks for Alves. Tiago Alves is as powerful a 170 pound competitor as we have in the UFC present day. I mean, he is a big 170 pound fighter. That, yeah, he is about as big as you can ever get and fight at 170 pounds comfortably. I mean, he has a hard time making the weight, but he makes it just barely. Man, Joe, he is truly showcasing his striking skills. He quickly gets this fight to the ground. shot from the bottom he's looking to pass here Joe in the full guard here nice work from the bottom by Cote he's looking for a guillotine he's free from the guillotine Excellent sweep. Very nice sweep winds up in his guard. Oh, and reverse. Nice sweep. Now he's in the guard. Tries to get out of full guard and into half, but doesn't make it. Joe, both of them stand up here. And he eats a high one. And there's a nice straight by Alves. Huge uppercut. uppercut. Oh, he's landing at will. Powerful right hand. Strong chance. Oh, big kick. What oh. a huge right hand. Oh, and another jab. Big shots. Powerful left hand. Hard jab. He's doing a great job of blocking things here. Push kick. And separate. Ah, nice slip and rip by Alvin. Vicious knee to the body. Big combination. Nice jab. Look at this, take down. Nice reversal here. Let's see what he can do from here. Now he's going for 
for an armbar here. Almost had the armbar. Cote with a nice punch from the pot. Look at this. He's out of it. Caught him with a punch. Postures up. Showcasing some great movement on the ground. And now he's back in full guard. Man, he's got the reversal. 20 seconds. In the full guard. Nice reversal. Good work from the bottom by Cote. 10 seconds remain in round one. And he's going to transition to the back. comes to an end. Great work. You won that last round. This round, we want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. I want to see you work that distance. And here's a nice punch that lands clean. And here's another punch that sneaks through. And here's another perfectly placed punch. Incredible highlights in that round. And the lovely Brittany gets us started for round number two. Ready? Round two. Going back to that last round, Jim. Patrick Cote has shown some very precision striking ability. Yeah, he had some very high accuracy in that round. Very clean, crisp strikes. Patrick the Predator Cote continues to improve his Muay Thai training with Mark Delagrati in Boston at Team Sit Your Talk. Yeah, he is really improving all aspects of his game, training with De La Grate, really trying to become a much more well-rounded striker and not just rely on the one big shot KO power that he possesses. Cote with a bunch that connects. Nice shot. Both men landing in that exchange. Man, he has really worked the midsection well, and you can see the bruising on the left side of his body. Kick just missed. Alvarez with a strong leg kick. And now they clinch. And they disengage from the clinch. Alvarez with a good double jab. Great job with the roundhouse. And he misses. Big head kick lands. combination just over three now precise dirty boxing by Cote he locks up double underhooks and lands a good shot Locks up the Muay Thai clinch. Good knee to the body by Cote. They're working hard here in the clinch. And they separate. Oh, he tagged him with that straight. We have reached the midway point of this fight. Cote with a solid jam. That left eye, Mike, is starting to look nasty. Both men throwing frequently. Cote with the single leg. He's moved to his back now. Excellent 
excellent sweep. Cote's got it back in half guard now. Good work from the bottom. He's back in the full guard now. Oh, he sweeps. Look at his position now. Very nice sweep lines up in his opponent's guard. Great position. He's got him mounted here. Good elbow by Alves. And he's in full guard. He's got his back. He's looking for the rear naked here. He's got it under the chin. Look at this. Trying to lock it down. From there, he wants to grab a hold of his bicep. Oh, look at that, slips right out of it. Side control. One overhook, one underhook. Got double underhooks. Alves with a good hook in the clinch. He can do damage from this Muay Thai plum clinch. One hurt him. Oh! What an exchange! He hurt him with that hook. Oh, he's landing. Big takedown. 15 seconds! He moves to full guard here. He's moved into half guard again. He got tagged there. He moves into full mount. Wow, oh that was close. Counter-striking is pinpoint perfect. I want you to keep that up. You're chopping him down and breaking him apart. And here we see some beautiful submission offense here. Let's see that again from another angle. And let's look at that from a different camera. Ariani. Minutes remains in the fight. Joe, that fight was nearly over in the last round. Patrick Cote's submission attempt was very tough. That was a very close submission attempt and almost the end of the fight. And another strike lands. Hard hook. That swelling on his eyes is really starting to get bad. Cote with a solid double jab. And he counters with the straight right. Alves gets the single leg. Looking to do some damage from the bottom. Clean hammer fist. And he got back to guard. Oh, he hurt him with that elbow. Joey's got his back now. Trying to take the back here. Full mount. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Excellent work from the bottom by Alves. Good control, postures up. Huge nice elbow, elbow lands to the head. <laughs> Trying 
Huge bump to the top. Alves counters with the left. The amount of damage that has been done to his body makes you wonder if he's got a broken rib or two. Cote with a good left hook to the body. Oh, nice combination. Tiago Alves is starting to find the clock to be his enemy. He needs to make something big happen right now. He needs to make something happen. He is not going to win a decision. He's got to either KO his opponent or he's got to finish him with a submission. Postured up and threw it down with force. Good transition into half guard. And back to full guard. Under He's in two full remains. guard here. He's looking for the triangle. Grabs his ankle, pulls down on his shin to the armbar. Very nice transition. He's applying the pressure. Out and it is all over. An excellent job in setting up the arm bar and getting the tap. Time now for our fight replay. And we see here, as soon as this arm bar gets locked in, there is no escape. Perfect technique. Tremendous pressure. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 12 seconds of round number three. To find the winner by tap out, Tiago Pitbull Alves. Tiago Pitbull Alves, winner by submission.